you just use Coke to water my hair down? That smells so strong of peanut butter. No, I don't want oh, it. Oh, it looks like shit on a spoon. It looks like shit on a spoon. <laughs> I would have gone away with it too if it weren't for you meddling kids. <laughs> oh my god! Stop it, get a less wet drink. You have to put a crisp on your forehead. Oh yeah. And roll it down your face into your mouth. I'm closing my eyes because it might be some vinegar so I might get it in my eye. Yeah, it's got it. Oh. Oh, let's <laughs> try again. Don't wiggle too- Oh. 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 Right, oh. oh. Shit, we need to call accident emergency. We've got a weird case of salt. Oh, oh no, that was so close. Salt you went a bit too eye. quick. I'm going to line the spots down there now. I'm going to like Petey Peterson. You're not doing it properly. You've got like crumb in your eyebrow. <laughs> you ever played crumb? <laughs> <laughs> Hang, can you pick that spoon up? Oh my god, it's literally right in the corner of your eye. Oh, it's, it's definitely salt and vinegar, I just licked my finger. Don't tell him that. Oh, you didn't get your tongue out in time. Got it. Let it go. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's on a, it's like hanging on a ball. <laughs> Any of them to do with penetration? How much your pube comb gone? It's not by her foot. Oh no, our quantum crystals have run out of... Well, they're Australian. <laughs> <laughs> run out. <laughs> Welcome to Late Night Love. Oh, fucking Matt! Grammar, the difference between knowing your shit and knowing your shit. Oh my goodness me. Shit! I can't... Oh. Oh. <laughs> na, 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 na. My name's Ollie. My name's Pete. And welcome to a very special late night episode of Pints with Pete, where today we're downing a pint of the internet. And whatever this is. I didn't prepare this, so I don't know. Oh. And it's like kerosene. So we've got all the kit prepared, we've eaten all the crisps, we've had two Jaffa cakes each. One so each. let's begin round one of the Urban Dictionary Challenge. So it's gonna work like this, we're gonna hear a word. The mystery voice in the sky is gonna offer us a term or a, or a phrase or a word. And we're gonna try and decipher the definition of it. We're quite familiar with Urban Dictionary. Yeah. Um, we know our Spanish seagulls from our rusty bicycles. <laughs> Any young viewers out there, I recommend that you do not watch this. There's going to be a lot of rude words, a lot of, a lot of rude words, a lot of swearing, a lot of drinking. Okay, I'm ready. Round one. Yeah. Round one. Fight. The first randomly selected word from Urban Dictionary is... Just ducky. Ready. Just ducky. What have you got? I got, uh, when it's raining and it's great weather for ducks, but you go out with your sex friend and fuck in a pond. <laughs> <laughs> a sex friend. Someone you sex with that's a friend. That's right. I've gone with something quite simple. It's a fart so small that it's like you've just ducked under something and it's come out. <laughs> like, uh, like when you go in the car park, you just get under the barrier. <laughs> 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 Just ducky means calm on the surface, paddling like crazy beneath. Number two, what we got? What we got? Hit us up, Becco. I'm ready with my penno. Rusty trombo. Oh yeah. I think, knows what I, think this I know is. this. All right. I, I've written it, but I might have to explain what I've written. Right, okay. Rusty it's not, trombone. It's not musical. Well, it is, but it. Right. Rusty trombone. I think you you you've been sick on a dig. Oh God. And then. Someone gives you a blowjob while they're humming a song. <laughs> <laughs> so it sounds like a. Well, I've written it sounds like a trombone full of nails and bits. Because it's like. <laughs> Depending on what you've thrown up. Right. I think it's when you play your partner's ring piece like a trombone and the dick is the pulley outy part of the, romp the trombone. So What's you're like. a ring piece? Ass hole. <laughs> <laughs> you never called it a ring piece. So you're like. You lip. Oh, you're like, is that what? You put them in the butt hole. Is the ring piece the musical term? Yeah. No, like what's the funnel called on the end of a trombone? The ring piece. Yeah, that. You put that in their butthole. Like that. <laughs> in it. Yeah, but you're like, they're like standing up. And they've got. Uh -oh. And they've got a bone. So you like. <laughs> they've you put, got a bone. Yeah, because a man. It's a man. <laughs> and then you. Oh, I see. And the pulley out the side, right? Dick. It's totally right. Is it? Oh, oh it's God. a fucking point. <laughs> Ticks. I got 12 ticks. That's disgusting. <laughs> 
Next up. Tallahassee gas mask. Oh, oh no. how do I spell Tallahassee? Like Tally with hus, hus. Oh, a little bit sick came up. I needed a rusty trombone. <laughs> Use the phrase sex friend again, just so you know. Or oh, just in brackets, just do that. <laughs> Is that going to offend anyone? No. I hope not. Right, okay, I think I'm ready. I yeah. want to see what you wrote. I don't <laughs> think. Just wrote cousin. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Okay, what have you got? I think I've heard the gas marks. Right, okay. So fart into your sex friend's mouth, then kiss them afterwards to transfer the gas, then probably sex each other with <laughs> gas mask on in Tallahassee. <laughs> <laughs> in brackets, cousin, because you said it's in yeah. the south. I've gone. That's all I've got. Oh wait, can I put in brackets again? No. I'm just gonna put banjo. Oh yeah. Is that alright? I love that your the first part was quite experimental, then it was literally just gas masks in Tallahassee. Yeah. I couldn't think of anything else. I've gone for rim job where you fart in their mouth. Yeah. I'm hold good. it. Hold it in and then go up. But you don't kiss them, you just sort of blow it around like blow it back around their face. Like when you do a burp and you blow it. And then someone. I'm yeah, and then just put, followed by southern fried chicken. <laughs> <laughs> just like, oh, after that, there's no sex involved in that, actually. It's just no, it's a just a quick rim job followed by some KFC. It's to do with farting, right? In a mouth, surely. Surely some guff going on. Big guff mouth. Big mouth farts. Stinky mouth guff. When one splatter farts into a hotel provided shower cap and sneaks up behind a loved one and pulls it around their face like a gas mask. <laughs> What's a splatter fart? <laughs> <laughs> Is, it Is that like lots at once? <laughs> like that. <laughs> or is it where literally poo comes out a little bit? Because you're not sure whether you've like timed it right. A, B, C, sex. <laughs> <laughs> Do I need to write more? No. Okay. <laughs> okay, I think I'm ready. ABC sex. You're first. <laughs> Ever. It's not that you got a sex friend. <laughs> <laughs> I may have sex friend in here again. Right. You ready? I'm ready. You guys go because I'll come. Okay. Okay, so you ABC sex. I've gone seduce them with simply red in the bathroom. The singer. What? Uh, what? Off of the really ginger one. Yeah. S simply red, checking in. <laughs> <laughs> Why the bathroom? Because that's where it all starts. He's on the shower radio. <laughs> then, head for the ass. Oh, I've done it in the wrong order. Oh no. Head for the ass. That's right. the A. Yeah, that's A. Right. Then to the bedroom. For B. Initial B. Initial B. For butt fondling. That's the second B. <laughs> After. <laughs> Which is the ass. I don't know, it's the same body <laughs> part. And then finally, vigorous clitoral clamping, followed by a Tallahassee gas mask. <laughs> <laughs> I went I went quite similar. Are you going to go so far I went, with ABC? I went for the ABC. So I, originally I just wrote anal breast clit as my as my answer. I thought I don't know, should expand <laughs> should expand it. So I put put it in the butt, brackets, sex friend, close the brackets. Then tit wank it, then rub it all up in their lady area. Sex only on anniversaries, birthdays, and Christmas. Oh my god, we're so extreme compared to that. No talent has the gas masks in there. All that talk of anal yeah, I need I'll for shit. Them. I've got a shit. My ass is released. Alberta chili bowl. <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is definitely <laughs> sexual. <laughs> this is so sexual, but okay. <laughs> <laughs> right, what have we got? Alberta chili bowl. Okay. <laughs> Just read my first five words and this made me laugh. Uh, diarrhea into a bowler hat. <laughs> right, freeze it as Alberta is in Canada, which is often really cold. Then you serve it to your sexual friend in a taco. <laughs> That's probably right. Why is it a bowl of hat? Because it had a bowl in it, but I didn't think it'd be a normal bowl. The image I had in my head originally was of a sick bowl made of cardboard. 
full of diarrhea. Also, how do you spell diarrhea properly? <laughs> spell it D-I-A-H-R-E-A -E the first time I wrote it, which is so wrong. <laughs> and then the second time I think it's wrong too. It says diarrhea. I can never spell it right. <laughs> uh, I've got a chili bowl. I've got uh, freeze, freezer chili, normal chili. <laughs> And then lay it onto your girl's open ass. Layer chili. Just just because it's frozen. It. <laughs> no, it's oh, because it's in like a block. Right. Okay. Just lay it onto the girl's it. open ass, and then defrost <laughs> it with your own piss. The hot chili will then burn her ass. Lol. That's what I've written. <laughs> <laughs> can, we, can we please have the real definition? Okay. Oh my goodness. What is an Alberta chili okay. bowl? In the middle. <laughs> Oh no. In the middle of anal sex with a female, pull out and proceed to vomit in the gaping asshole. Oh! <laughs> oh my goodness. Once done vomiting, continue the anal sex until climax. The sludgy mess <laughs> of your life. <laughs> the sludgy mess that escapes her rear afterwards provides your chili bowl with its contents. Oh. In brackets, can be served with a taco. <laughs> Please. Mm. Next up for the quivers. Colon crock pot. Oh my god. Oh goodness me. Colon, Colon crock pot, crock what have we got? Um, evacuate your inner workings. Poetic. Into a bone china crock pot. Which you then cook in an oven, 250 degrees, gas mask six. Sprinkle with turmeric Ooh. and serve to your family on Bastille Day. <laughs> <laughs> Tupperware container, just normal like lock and lock box. Lock and crock. Heat it up empty in the microwave, shit in it, then heat it up again just to soften it. Okay. It's really hard. Just soften it because you show such hard brick like poos, you have to microwave it. Put it in a slow cooker for four days, <laughs> then serve with winter greens and a garlic butter sauce. Oh, winter greens. Colonic irrigation water for a drink. What is it? When your large intestine has been holding back waste for more than 48 hours and your farts are the leading indicator of what is to come. What have we got? Hello. No, oh, hit me. Squat cobbler. It's awesome. your time this time. Yeah, exactly. Squat cobbler. Get the gym guys round. Right. All do small. <laughs> <laughs> All do small peach like poos and mix with whipped cream like a peach cobbler. Oh, yeah, yeah, good. Eat Very while good. watching the game. Circle jerk to follow during post-game analysis. <laughs> <laughs> I went with gym as well. Yeah. Because of the squat. Squatting. I forgot what a cobbler was. I thought it was some kind of pie. I'm not. Yeah, I think it is. Okay, so I've gone with each cobbler in the Sims. When you're pumping iron at the gymnasium, and you the weight is just beyond your threshold, causing you to poop. Oh. And to do a real life prolapse. <laughs> as opposed to what? As a pretend, as a pretend one that what? you put on put to on get out of biking my with mats. mum at the weekend. <laughs> <laughs> and then whatever you can recover from the situation is baked into a pie. That's what you and can't served. push back into your ass. Yeah, whatever's <laughs> left is put in a pie and oh. served up in the gym's canteen. Oh. A fetish in which someone sits in a pie and wiggles around. In a pie? Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like American pie, but rather than like full on you penetrative pie intercourse, mm -hmm. you just dangle it, you're just teabagging it. Okay, I'm ready. O F W G K T A. Oh fuck. Where grows killer turnip acid? Because <laughs> in Serbia, where turnip harvest is rife, not rife, productive. The main import, no, the main export is turnips, right? Right. But the locals have found out that if you grind it up into little tabs, 
Remember those little chewing gums you used to get? There was yeah, yeah. little things. You know? Oh yeah, dissolving in town. Yeah. Yeah, it's yeah, like that. That turnips, kind of like vodka, but rather than it being potato vodka making, turnips actually like super hallucinogenic, and they make you dream of a capitalist life away from Soviet Russia, which definitely doesn't exist anymore. So it's just a, it's just a thing that people in Serbia it's the same, cause use because they're like, oh fuck, I'm out of turnip acid. Where grows killer turnip like good, acid? Like, like good, like good, killer, yeah. like good, not like murdering or yeah. death by turnip acid. I've done one close to my heart, little ethos of mine. Oh, okay. Oliver forgot to wank, so he goes to Kingston to arouse. <laughs> Can you say them again? Oh <laughs> fuck, where grows killer turnip acid? <laughs> Oliver forgot to wank, so he goes to Kingston to arouse. Yeah. I'll give you one. Is it for oh, fuck? It's for fuck. No, it's for killer. Oh my god! Oh. What? What, and turnip acid's wrong? Oh fuck, we got... It's actually the name of a rap group. Oh, is it official fat white guys killer turban <laughs> army? <laughs> Yes! Is it? Oh my god, I got it. I've got them on the spot. Oh, is it killer turning acid again? <laughs> Odd future Wolfgang killed them all. Is one of their songs called Turning Acid? <laughs> Are you drawing ass? What? <laughs> 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 what? It's like a. Oh, it's so weird. This is the last. Oh, sorry, I was itching my armpit. Oh, goodness I'm me. Ready. It's the last Urban Dictionary Challenge word. Panamanian petting zoo. Can you... Is it usable in a sentence? He gave his lunch lady a Kentucky Klondike bar for as long as he could. It made sense for him to follow with a follow up with a Panamanian petting zoo. I wonder what Panama's got to do with it. <laughs> Panamanian petting zoo is uh, rubbing a dog on its belly so that it becomes aroused yeah. and begins humping the Roomba charging station. Okay, okay. The Roomba then drives over your naked body, sucking nipples and your penis yeah. as it goes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> meanwhile, the dog... Oh no. Meanwhile, the dog shits. <laughs> and the Roomba picks it up and drags it all over the place, zigzagging and back and forth, to create a canal into which you slide your body through and over, where the Roomba cleans it up, thus beginning the cycle again. <laughs> I like that it's cyclical. Yeah. I don't like everything else that's involved. Like the Panama in the Canal doesn't stop, and petting zoos only stop after 4.30. Inserting goats, llamas, alpacas and various other popular petting zoo animals into the anal ca cavity, in brackets, Panama, canal, of a sex friend. <laughs> this must also be performed while wearing a Panama hat. Oh. And reciting the phrase, don't buy too much food, you'll get attacked by the sheep. <laughs> Upon completion, you must pat the head of your love-juiced partner and whisper, good fluff. That's what I'd say to a sheep that's really fluffy when I'd pat <laughs> it in the petting zoo. It's like, yeah. It was love-juiced. When one forces one's partner to pick the nuts and corn out of a bowel movement, the partner then <laughs> presents the nuts and corn <laughs> in a cup or a dish. One then tosses the nuts and corn onto the bed where the partner eats them like a goat or other typical petting zoo animal. Oh, like a llama or an, al or an alpaca. Oh my god. That is disgusting, says the person who thought it was about putting goats in someone's <laughs> anus. <laughs> so there you have it, a really disgusting episode of Pine Sized. Bit of urban dictionary definition game, bit of drawings, bit of awful things in green cans. Thanks so much for watching, hope you're still part of the channel. Apologies if anyone was insulted. We didn't uh, mean to insult your unusual se sexual habits. We'll see you again very soon. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to subscribe if you like what you saw. And unsubscribe if you didn't like what you've seen. <laughs> we'll see you soon. <laughs>
you had a, if you had to get your bum cut off and yeah. replaced with either Kim Kardashian's bum, <laughs> yeah, or yeah. Bruce Jenner's bum. Oh, Kim Kardashian's. Oh. Kim Kardashian's bum has got Kanye West dick in it all the time. <laughs> like he cuts it off and just puts it in there. And Bruce Jenner's bum has got his silver medal that he won that one time <laughs> up it. So you've got to choose on one of those two bums. It's either Kanye dick bum or silver medal Bruce Jenner Maybe bum. Maybe silver medal. Silver medal Bruce Jenner bum. They're both, obviously they're both really clean because I mean, they're with, celebrities you can... so they've got like Pretty lifetime much. supply of enemas. <laughs> and then Kim Kardashian's got two. One for Kanye West, his penis, and one for all the things she does, because they all come out of her ass, because they're all complete <laughs> shit. Her tongue is in her bum.